On today's menu, a delicious recipe that will really brighten up your weekly rotation. An amazingly simplistic japchae. Le ho ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. Welcome to Young Man Cooking, I'm Will Young. This recipe reminds me of when I was in Seoul. It has simplicity in the sense that it's really easy to make at home, and yet the flavors and textures are just extraordinary. Of course, before we get started, if you enjoy today's episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let's begin. Preheat the oven to 400. Slice about 120 grams of fresh shiitake mushrooms. If you're using dry shiitake mushrooms that you've rehydrated, I would completely remove the stalk altogether. I find them a little bit tougher to enjoy, but if you're using fresh shiitake mushrooms, I would just remove that end bit there with a little bit of dirt. The rest of the stalk is pretty soft. You may also use dried shiitake mushrooms or oyster mushrooms if that's what you have on hand. Place the mushrooms into a large mixing bowl. Thinly slice half a red onion. Red onions have a slightly sweeter note, but of course you can use white onions if that's what you have on hand. Half a red bell pepper, thinly sliced. Half a yellow bell pepper, thinly sliced. Chop one carrot into thin matchsticks. The carrot and the bell peppers will add a nice crunch as well as some natural sweetness. This recipe is good for about three to four portions, but of course you can multiply it to make more if you like. This is smoked tofu. Has the texture of an extra firm tofu, but this naturally delicious smoky savory flavor. Slice in half the smoked tofu, and then into sheets, and then into sticks. The smoked tofu will add body, as well as a nice, savory, smoky flavor. Drizzle over a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil onto the veggies. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Toss the veggies to coat. Spread the veggies out onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. No need to wash out that mixing bowl, we'll still be using it. Do your best to spread out the veggies so that they'll cook evenly. Alright, so like I always say on the channel, this is not the only way of making something, this is just simply one way. This is a bit of a non-traditional sheep pan version if you will. If you feel the need to roast me in the comments, trust me, your time is better spent roasting some veggies. At about 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Bake in the oven at 400 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Bring a pot of water to boil for the noodles. In this episode, I'm using a saute pan as we'll be using it again to make the sauce. Rinse and drain about 200 grams of bean sprouts and set aside. pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Chop three sticks of green onions into small batons. Then thinly slice. Alternatively, you can use garlic chives, which can be found at Asian grocers. Boil 200 grams of potato starch noodles to package instructions, in this case, eight minutes. Give the noodles a stir to submerge them in the water and stir them occasionally to keep them from sticking. After eight minutes, add in the bean sprouts. Give the bean sprouts a stir and cook for a couple of minutes to wilt them down. Strain out the noodles and bean sprouts and set aside. Pan back on medium heat. Two tablespoons toasted sesame oil garlic, one tablespoon gochugaru or Korean pepper powder. Stir and cook for about a minute.
green onions, quarter cup soy sauce, three tablespoons maple syrup, one tablespoon rice vinegar. Give the pan a stir to wilt down the green onions and combine all those delicious flavors. Transfer the noodles and bean sprouts to the mixing bowl. Add the roasted veggies. Pour in that delicious sauce. Mix the noodles and veggies together. Plate the noodles generously. Sprinkle with white sesame seeds and serve. You can now enjoy this delicious noodle dish with absolute confidence. Those noodles are coated in so much amazing flavor. Visually, this dish just looks incredible. It's super rustic, super casual, minimalistic, and is just packed with amazing fresh veggies. Those noodles really absorb that delicious salty umami from the soy sauce, that cotton candy-like sweetness from the maple syrup, the little smoky spiciness from the gochugaru, also that little tanginess from the rice vinegar, as well as that fragrant toasted sesame oil. It's just such a delightful play of different textures and flavors. There's that natural sweetness from the carrots, the bell peppers, along with the bean sprouts, also adds this fresh crunch. There's that tenderness from the shiitake mushrooms and the smoked tofu, and they bring so much nice savoriness and umami. These potato starch noodles have this really delightful elasticity, and of course they also look really unique. Such a simple delicious dish to put together, the oven does most of the work, and this is a recipe you can enjoy hot, cold, room temperature, however you like. Like I always say on the channel, it's simple delicious recipes like this that makes it so exciting to cook at home. If you love simple delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of one of the three young men cooking cookbooks. There's a print or digital version of these books. You can also check out the young men cooking merch along with that plant-based sushi masterclass on the link in the description box below or you can visit youngmancooking.com. As always, if you enjoyed today's episode, definitely give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If you're not already subscribed with that notification bell clicked, definitely do so. We'll cook together in the next episode.